Inside the Circle, Season 5, Episode 6.2. I think you put too much into that. I do. You say that every time. Sectionals! Here we are. We've ranked the sectionals 1 through 4. With 4 being what? 4 being the less... No, the weakest. Okay. This is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of chase. This is terrible. <laughs> but these kids are going to earn a district qualifying berth. They're also going to earn the chance to state qualification. So, this is our number four on the list at Upper Arlington. We have 11 teams here, Sean. We have Taze Valley with their seed next to it in the district. Taze Valley, followed by CC. HS, followed by Upper Arlington. Number 20 is Olin Tangy Orange, followed by Whetstone, Westland, and Dublin Jerome. Licking Heights, Mifflin, and then Reynoldsburg and Northland rounding the bunch out. Sean, these are your teams. There's going to be a race for first place. I want to know. <laughs> I think it's going to be a walk. No, okay. <laughs> Sean, break it down for me. You know, looking at this, Mark, as, Mark we've, as you guys can see yourself, is I don't think I've ever remembered in the history, and history. I've watched this for 30 years and I'm being dead serious, that a sectional did not have one top 10 team. Like, not oh, yeah. one. Good point. I now, in all fairness, we did a different ranking. It is different this year. This year. It yeah. is different this year. This is the first year uh, coaches did not vote on the ranking. Other it was, teams. It was all yeah. done on criteria. Yeah. So, But I don't think I've ever seen this again. I've been doing this since 87. I can't believe I've ever seen this. But looking at this, it really is, it's the sectional of opportunity. It really is. Let's call it what Boom. it is. It's the sectional of opportunity. Um, you know, when we got down to the last two teams, when Dublin Coffin didn't pick this, I was kind of on board with that because we just still don't know where Maddox is going to go, 45, 52, even possibly 60. Mm -hmm. And I don't think as Demas wants to see him three times in a row. And I think they had the matchups they went to other places. But I really thought looking at this, Liberty uh, would jump on this sectional here. I mean, I think they would win it rather handily and probably could get, I don't know, 10 people in the finals possibly. Could they top 313 and a half points? 329 and a half. 329 you know, and a half. They probably could have topped 329 and a half here. This is just... Teams that, teams that don't have a lot of uh, numbers right now that are you know fighting the numbers game, which a lot of people you. are. Uh, there's a couple ways, maybe 220, where we're going to have Morley and uh, Bryce Houston. Yeah, that's true. Good final match. Yeah. But other than that, I think it's uh, the sectional of opportunity. you got big names like Maddox, Collins, um, Brodsky. Yeah. You know, then uh, Licking Heights is going to have their quartet of the Wilson Harold. boys. Harold, L.A. Kelly. Yeah. So, uh, again, uh, people that maybe thought the year, this wasn't the year to be district qualifiers have a chance here. I would like to see every team get at least one. That'd be great. District qualifier. Me and Mark are big about getting all yes. 45 schools represented at the Derby District. 43? Well, you have 45. 45? 12, 11, 11, 11. That's 45. Yeah. Let me do some math real Jesus, quick. Jesus, dude. S-Pen 1945. Mm -hmm. But, uh, again, uh, projecting a champion here... I think well, can we back it up one and say who's the race going to be and then tell me who you think the, the champ's going to be? I think this is a two-horse race on numbers. I like the home school of Burlington, and I like Orange Duke in the South. They just have 14 solid okay. kids that That's I think true. are going to benefit. When you get into situations like this where it's not as uh, clear-cut to clear -cut or top-heavy, it becomes a dual meet, basically. Because you have, it becomes a dual meet. You know, you get a, it just becomes a dual meet. And I think the race is going to come down between Upper Arlington and Orange. Who do you think? I'm going to go with Upper Arlington, the Golden Bears, winning their first sectional title in uh, probably a long time. So. Oh, I thought they – did they not win it that year? Uh, they, I think they lost so, the crossing in Westville North? North? Yeah, okay. Game. So, I'm, we're no, having the Golden Bears win, which we are considering the uh, easiest sectional of the four at Derby. So, stick around for – 6.3, which will be the next sectional. And now you are inside the circle.